Have you ever been anxious for a whole day or a week or a month? Have you ever been depressed for weeks or months at a time? And have you ever had other times where you had anxiety that passed through very, very quickly? Maybe something came up, triggered your anxiety, and then five minutes later, you were no longer feeling that way. Have you ever been driving down the street and someone really pissed you off? They drove by and, and maybe they cut you off or something like that. And you give them the finger and say some mean things. And then uh, about two or three minutes later, your favorite song comes on the radio. And then you're singing and you're feeling great and all of this. So what's the difference there? Uh, acceptance. Accepting your reality as it comes in. I know this sounds kind of cheesy and really way too simple. And there is a lot of work to getting to that point where you can accept your reality in this way. But feelings and emotions, they are meant to change from one state to the next. No longer than every 20 minutes. They're meant to cycle through emotions. Um, so the heavy ones, the light ones, all of them. Uh, sometimes emotions will stick around for a minute, maybe even 30 seconds. Sometimes maybe it's 25 minutes, but about no longer than every 20 minutes, we should be cycling from one emotion to the next. And if you're not, you're in a state of some kind of imbalance. You've generated a lot of hucha, heavy energy, adding story on top of the emotions you're feeling that keeps you stuck in these emotional states. It's not good to be stuck in a state of fear, depression, anxiety, or despair for more than 20 minutes at a time or you know, whether you're stuck there for an hour or a day or a month or whatever. And it's not good to be stuck in joyful, loving, lightful states like peace and bliss and ecstasy. It's also not good to be stuck there for days or weeks or months at a time. We're meant to experience so many different emotions throughout the day. We're meant to experience the full range of them, and it's extremely healthy because all of these emotions are who we are. It's a part of us. These emotions are an essential part of what we are as human beings and as spiritual beings, as these gods and goddesses that we are here on this planet. And it's so healthy to experience them. So a little example. Um, the old me, old versions of me that are no longer with us, uh, would experience anxiety. Something would trigger the anxiety and I would become so fearful and I would tell myself stories. Oh my gosh, other times when I experienced anxiety got really, really bad and this happened and that happened. Oh my God, I can't get to that point. And what if it just doesn't stop and it's going to get worse or whatever. Maybe not in that exact dialogue, but I would just sit there and I would contract in fear and the anxiety would build. I would fixate. I would fixate on the anxiety. All my attention would be on how bad I was feeling and how awful and how uncomfortable it was. And I would think about it and ruminate on it and it would just build and build and build and build and get worse and it would stay around for a long time until eventually it got so bad I couldn't take it and I would escape from it. Either through drinking or other substance abuse or whatever it was that I would uh, use at the time to escape from that anxiety. I would just do something to escape from it, to numb it out. Uh, flash forward to now times. Uh, today I had something happen. There was an appointment. Uh, doctor's appointment that I wasn't uh, really looking forward to. Um, and I had a reminder come up on my phone that the appointment was in 30 minutes. And when that reminder came up, because I wasn't really looking forward to the appointment, it triggered some anxiety. The heart starts pounding and the tightness in the chest, these kind of uncomfortable, restless, tingly sensations through here. But instead of what I used to do, I just sat there and said, okay, I accept this. I'm feeling anxiety. And I became curiously aware just like a, a child, how a child's curiously aware of his surroundings. No judgment. It doesn't have any story to add on top of anything because it hasn't been programmed or learned in it or learned anything. Uh, I don't know what I'm trying to say there, but it's just non judgmental, just curiously aware. Like it's experiencing these things for the first time. And we can do that with our own emotions. Become curiously aware as if it's the first time you've ever felt this. You don't think it's bad. You don't think it's good. You're just non judgmentally, curiously aware. And in doing so, I just feel this and, okay, there's these interesting sensations. And what happens there is a really beautiful thing. A dialogue opens up between us and our emotions. Not the dialogue that uses pictures in the mind or even words in the mind or the analytical mind whatsoever. It's a dialogue through pure awareness and sensation and feeling. And just keeping your attention curiously without judgment on these sensations, a communication starts between your emotional body your physical body, your mental body, your spiritual body, all of you comes into alignment through pure awareness, through acceptance, through accepting it and not judging it. 
And when this dialogue opens up, your emotions can teach you deep, powerful things about yourself and about the universe. But you don't learn them in the same way we learn things out of a book in school. You learn them just through the pure feeling sense in a way that your mind could never understand. And when you do that, it becomes really beautiful. You can actually experience anxiety or depression or despair or grief or any uncomfortable emotion. And not only will it pass very quickly, like I said, no more than 20 minutes, sometimes as quick as 30 seconds even. Not only will they pass really quickly, but they can start to become beautiful because you know through this acceptance that you're not going to be stuck in any emotional state. It becomes an enjoyable ride. It becomes like you're a pro surfer. And you're just surfing these waves and you're not concerned whether you're on the top of the wave at the crest or at the bottom of the wave or wherever you're at. You're not concerned with that. You're just enjoying the ride wherever you happen to be in this moment. And then it becomes a really beautiful experience. So you may be feeling beautiful bliss. One second. Ah, I feel so blissful. This feels so good. It's so enjoyable. I love this. Ah. And then maybe five minutes later, you're feeling really sad, really depressed. And even that can be beautiful. Wow. Isn't it amazing that I have the capacity to feel this so deeply? Wow, oh, this feels so interesting, this sensation. And that's where real well-being comes in. That's where real mental and emotional well-being starts, is through totally accepting whatever you're feeling, not judging it, not adding story on top of it, not adding guilt on top of what you're feeling, or not shaming yourself. Just being curiously aware of whatever is happening right here, right now. That's real well-being is through acceptance. Well-being and healing from anxiety, healing from depression, doesn't mean you never experience anxiety. Doesn't mean you never experience depression again. It means you have these things, but you don't fixate on them. You don't add story on top of them. And you allow them to pass through the way that they are meant to. The way that is natural for them to move. And then life becomes a lot more interesting, a lot more enjoyable, and a lot, lot, lot easier. So I just wanted to share this and know that it's not just as easy as, okay, first time I do this, hmm, okay, I choose to accept my emotions. Now everything is beautiful and it's this wonderful ride and it's easy. It takes work. It takes practice and dedication. And it takes facing your fears and really going inward and really discovering some of these imprints and these wounds that cause the cyclical thinking that cause the, uh, the analytical mind to go on overload and keep you trapped in these emotions. There's a lot of work to be done in that, but you don't have to wait for all of that to happen in order to start this. You can start right here, right now, whenever you're experiencing an uncomfortable emotion, you can become curiously aware of it, drop the story behind it. Don't judge yourself. Don't shame yourself. Don't worry about what's going to happen as a result of the emotion or how long it's going to stick around. Don't worry about any of that. Just become curiously aware and feel and just see what happens. You don't have to take my word on this. I do not want you to take my word on this. You don't have to believe me. You just have to try. Just give it the benefit of the doubt. Try this for yourself and just see what happens for yourself. Thank you so much. I love you all.